This is the Media Mark Weather Show. Let's take a look at winter 2013 2014 outlook from November through the end of March. Now, the first day of winter technically doesn't start till the third week of December. However, we'll start winter early this year. Now, this winter will be characterized by a similar element to last winter. And before you start getting anxious, all you snow lovers, yes, it will be different. However, one thing will remain the same we will have La Nada. La Nada meaning no. El Nino or no La Nina. Let's take a look. You have to go to the southern hemisphere here in South America to find that we won't have anything in the way of El Nino, meaning warmer sea surface temperatures of 0.75 or greater, or La, La Nina, meaning no sea surface temperatures less than 0.75 or great or less than that. So putting that in mind, the temperatures of the sea surface temperatures departure from normal will remain in the minus 0.5 degree range to the plus 0.5 degree range, meaning we will see a neutral ENSO and no El Nino or no La Nina. It means La Nada. Now that means winter could very well go one of many different ways in the northern hemisphere, especially in North America. But interpreting it by the blocking patterns we've had, as well as what the models indicate, as well as taking history into account here at Media Mark, this is what I believe will actually happen in the winter 2013-2014. Now this is my first call, so I will have some other calls on this, but let's take a look. If we take a look at the typical track we will see here in 2013-2014, and for many snow lovers, you will like this here, especially in the east. In the west, maybe not so much. In the west, we'll start out with a positive PNA here. Now this, this uh, positive uh, ridge out here in the northern Pacific will translate to systems riding up through Alaska, the Yukon, heading down through the prairies and plain states of, or pl provinces here of central Canada and progressing their way eastward and southeastward across the eastern United States. And that will set up a very familiar trophy-like pattern here, and we could see a lot of blocking going on up here in Greenland, so in eastern Canada. So look for that. Now there will be another pattern that will be very similar to last winter, which a lot of you in the east did not like. We will have a mixture of this, which should even out. It's called the Colorado Low and, of course, the Alberta Clippers. Now, the Alberta Clippers, they follow the same pattern. They come down from Canada, and, of course, it's the pattern I just showed you here where a lot, lot of Alberta Clippers just skirt their way across the Northeast, but some of them actually develop and off the coast here and develop into something major. So we will have those as well. But the one other thing, the other pattern, is when you got this jet stream here dipping in the Rockies and you get this baroclinic zone in the southern plains and you get a Colorado low which ejects its way up through the north central Midwest and heads on into the Great Lakes and eventually southeast Canada. This will also be common this winter which means it will drag warm air up and through the eastern portion of the United States. However don't fear because there is going to be a fair amount of east coast snowstorms this year much greater than last year and I'll show you the departures from normal based on percentages wise. Taking all that into account those are the three major storm tracks we'll see this winter. Of course the most popular one will be the trough in the east in the Alberta Clippers. We will see a few Colorado lows so if you do see some warm weather in the east it will be short-lived so do not worry snow lovers. So, let's get into temperatures. With that ridge, we will see primarily in the west, we will see above normal temperatures across the southwestern portion of the United States heading up through portions of the northwestern states. Rockies will be a split difference with the eastern and central Rockies being below normal. North central plains heading down through the Great Lakes and in portions of southeast Canada, north or so southern central Canada and portions of the northeast here and upper midwest will be primarily below normal and some areas could be well below normal and portions of the southeast here 
It could go either way along portions of the Gulf Coast. Florida is interesting looking a little cooler than average based on the troughiness that we'll see. So that's what we got going on for temperatures across the nation. Departure from average. And of course, the color code is over here. So pick out your state and your county and take a look. Now, heading on into precipitation wise. Departure from average. High amounts of precipitation across the upper Midwest, Great Lakes, and into the Northeast, Upper Ohio Valley, heading down into portions of the Mid-Mississippi River Valley, above average. Here across the Gulf Coast, that's where we could see some below average until you get to the Florida Peninsula, especially the Eastern Florida Peninsula, Southern Florida Peninsula, on up the coast where we could see above normal precipitation. Now, keep in mind these are not based on snowfall. This is just normal precipitation. Here across the northwest, we'll see an area of above normal in northern Washington and snaking its way down into the north central Rockies. However, below normal here in the southwest. Other areas that pretty much have no color indicated will be at or near normal precipitation wise. Northern Plains, above normal, Dakotas. Southern Plains, Texas, heading on into the New Mexico area, will be slightly below normal. Let's take a look at snowfall predictions here. Departure from normal. This is where we get a little complicated. Here in the north central Midwest here, heading on into the Great Lakes and into portions of the Northeast, we'll have a bullseye of very above normal snowfall, meaning 20%, 30% or greater than the normal snowfall amounts that are indicated. Here across the Appalachians, heading on into portions of western New England, interior sections of New England, and especially just inland along the coast of the Poconos and Catskills, we will be above normal. Areas further west will be slightly near or slightly above normal. So this is good news for people who actually want a snowier winter. In the northeast, the upper Ohio Valley, the Great Lakes, in through the Midwest, upper Midwest. Here across the up the Pacific Northwest, above normal snowfall here across the northern part, but below normal snowfall, of course, in the mountains. This does not include the valleys, because obviously a lot of times you don't get snow here in the valleys, but below normal. And then heading on into portions of the north or the southern states here. This is where the north central parts of Alabama, Mississippi, uh, southern Tennessee, northern Georgia, some of the Carolinas could see good possibilities of some ice storms developing here. So some of those southern cutters here that come down through here and then head up the coast before they head up the coast could very well drop some ice here, which is not very good news for some of the southern states. So getting on into that, that is what we've got going on color code wise across much of and of course here across the northern plains above normal snowfall in that bullseye. So that's what we got going on for snowfall. As far as exact snowfall amounts and when the first snowfall will be, that is pretty much impossible to predict because there are so many variables in that. And of course I tried to do that back in college and that's a very hard task to do to pinpoint exact locations and exact first snowfall. That's almost as difficult as predicting the first frost. So that's what we've got going on across much of the nation here for your winter weather outlook. I, of course, I will be issuing more winter weather outlooks here. So for any of you who uh, are interested in more detailed maps and such, I will be releasing more as well. So that's what we got going on across much of the nation for winter 2013, 2014. That's pretty much gonna do it here at MediaMark. Don't forget to like me on Facebook at MediaMark, subscribe to me on YouTube at MediaMark.com. That's it here. Stay tuned for further winter weather updates.